Hello everybody and welcome to your first uh, Allegro 5 platformer tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be learning about a screen state. Now before I even get started, uh, I remember that I said in my in my video that on my that's posted on my channel Allegro the platformer series is here or something. Uh, and I also posted a poll on my on my website asking which one you wanted me to make it in, whether it's a Lego Four or Lego Five. Uh, well, a lot of you said that uh, they um, they would like a Lego Four, but since I just finished Lego Five, then it would make sense to do Lego Five, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So my decision is to make it a Lego Five since I've already done one in a Lego Four. Uh, but I will be making references here and there to what you could do interchangeably. But the code itself will be in Allegro 5. Okay. And if um, if this series is successful and you guys really, really want Allegro 4. Uh, uh, if anything, then I might just uh, like port the code into Allegro 4 format, if anything. Uh, but I'll see about that. Anyways, we're going to be learning about screen state and what screen state is, is that uh, it's just transitioning between screens, right? So for example, whenever you play a game, uh, normally when the game starts, it shows a splash screen. It shows um, the different companies or whatever who made the game, etc, etc. It might show a title screen and when you press enter, then it'll show a main menu screen. And if you press options, then it'll show an option screen, etc, etc. And so that's all handled by the screen state. So we are going to be handling the screen state and the way we're going to handle it is we're going to use the screen manager class. Now the screen manager class is going to be a singleton class. And for all of you out there who have read upon singletons or one of the uh, one of you guys that are stingy or etc cetera, etc cetera, if you search on the internet everybody says singletons are evil and they really have a good reason as to why they say that is because it makes uh well, it doesn't make everything global, but everything that's public within uh, your singleton class is global, right? And therefore, it's basically like a, a special container for global variable types. And th there's a lot of things that can go wrong with uh, variable types. For example, uh, if you have two different two different objects uh, or two different classes changing one value within our in the singleton class, then uh, you can get confused with the value it's using, or it could change it to the wrong value at the wrong time. And there's a lot of the bad things that can happen with global variables, etc., etc. But there are appropriate times when you'll need it, and this is one of the appropriate times. Now, there it, you can do without the the screen manager class and, and it won't be too much of a hassle but with the screen manager class will make our lives so much easier in my opinion and uh, we'll just use it and if you really don't really like that concept then uh, it, that means if you don't like the concept and you know it you should know enough C++ in order to modify it so you don't need it okay so anyways to get started what we need to do is we need to create a CPP file and we'll name this main I don't know if you can see what I'm typing down here hopefully you can so we have our main.cpp oh yeah and uh, you already know how to create a project with a level 5 so yeah I shouldn't have to say that and what we're going to do is create a class by clicking shift alt c and if you guys are using uh, like code blocks I think go to file new class or something like that and then what we're going to do is create a class and the class is going to be a screen manager class okay so simple enough so we're going to click finish okay so this is how our screen manager class is going to work so we're going to have uh, a private uh, section uh, no pun intended uh, but we're going to have a private section and uh, what this is going to do is we're basically going to make all our constructors private, right? The copy constructor, assignment, operator, and we're going to make the con the default constructor. Uh, we're going to make it private. Why do we make it private? The reason we make it private is because we don't want um, to make multiple instances of the class. We only want to have one instance of the class. And so that's why we, uh, we set it this way. I believe if you're doing this with pointers, then you don't need to do it this way. But we don't want to have pointers because when it comes to deleting or dereferencing a pointer, 
uh, it's going to be a problem because if we call this class's default destructor and try to delete the instance, then it's going to be in a, a, a loop, right? It's going to like an endable loop, like it's going to go loop forever, right? Uh, so therefore we don't want that and there's other ways to delete the instances but in general you're not going to want to use a pointer uh, where you can use a reference okay so what we're going to do uh, is just uh, set the screen manager uh, the constructor right there uh, we need to override the copy constructor so we're going to say const uh, screen manager constant and and we're gonna say void operator equals and we're going to say screen manager constant and uh, ampersand okay so if you guys never learned about operator overloading or you've never learned about copy constructors or assignment operators do not worry about it uh, you, you, uh, I will not be using it well hopefully I will not be using it in the tutorial series if I do I'll, I'll dumb it down to the point where like you will understand it uh, but you d generally don't need to know this concept but it is a good concept to learn uh, when you're learning C++ so if you don't know about operator overloading copy constructors or assignment operators or anything like that uh, then, then you should look into that so uh, one last thing we have to do is we need to make a static screen manager and we're going to say get instance so this is what we're going to be using to get the public members within the screen manager class and just to test out to show you how it works I'm going to be creating uh, some new things here so now these aren't going to be a part of the real program just you know but I'm going to be adding these things in just to show you how singletons work in case you don't understand how they work so I'm going to have an IO stream there and I'm going to include the string class. Uh, so what I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a function that sets the text and I'm gonna have another one that draws the text. Okay. And in the private area, in the private section, whatever you like to call it. Uh, we're gonna say SCD string and uh, text okay so at the top here what we want to do is we want to say uh, that no there's one thing I forgot to do this should be a uh, ampersand because we're making a reference to it uh, so this should be screen manager and then we'll put the ampersand screen manager get instance and in here we're gonna say static screen manager instance and we're gonna return the instance so you guys might be saying okay wait why do this whenever we call this we're creating a new instance and then we're returning it and blah, blah blah we keep on recreating one uh, but the thing with this is that it's just a uh, like a reference to it once it reaches the end of it it, it destroys it automatically so it deallocate deallocates it for us uh, so what this is saying right now, you have to make this static because if you don't make it static, it is treating it as though you're making a new screen manager instance. But we don't allow that because uh, we set it to private in here. We set it so that we can't make another instance of screen manager. So we set it to static so it treats it like a static class. And if you haven't uh, learned about static classes or anything, it just means that you can reference it by uh, the class name and basically it's making everything global, right? Uh, so in this case, we're basically kind of uh, referencing a, a static class. Uh, so uh, my time is almost running up, so I'm going to uh, continue with the rest of the program. So we're going to have set text and a CD string text. And we're gonna set that text equal to this one. This text equals text. And we're going to have we're gonna have our other function draw text. And we're going to draw that to the console window. Okay, easy enough. Okay, so if we go to our main.cpp, uh, uh, we'll just put it main. And we're going to say return zero. And if you're using 
uh, code blocks, whatever, have sin.get. And we have to include the IO stream for that. So include IO stream. Okay, so we have that. So this is how we use the screen manager class. We say screen manager. We use the, oh, sorry, we have to include the screen manager class. So that's how we use it. We use, we say screen manager and we use the scope operator and we do get instance, okay? So uh some of you might be saying, "Okay, how come I can't do this and just uh say the function? It's not going to work. It's not going to work that way. See if we do this, it's not going to work. We need to do the, the scope operator then get instance. After we do that, we put the dot, uh, the dot symbol, and then we call the function that we need to call. So in this case, we're going to call set text, and I'll just say that's test, and we'll say screen manager, the scope operator, get instance, draw text, and that's going to draw it to the screen. So if we see it right here, we we get it we set the text to test and it draws it to the screen so with the screen manager class we basically made uh the function that we need to make uh global uh if we remove this static right here and we try to run the program we're going to run into an error okay uh so make sure you make that static and if you don't fully understand it uh you can rewatch a video or anything but or you can read up more on on singletons and i will provide a link in the description but that is it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye